Look at this with me. This is video from our Sky 11 drone from yesterday. You know, a lot of you were able to see this smoke from this fire if you were anywhere in or around the city yesterday afternoon. This is that warehouse in Smoketown that caught fire. It was just after 4 p.m. It took more than 100 firefighters to get it under control. I'm going to bring in Jim Stratman now, who's been live there for us this morning. And I mentioned, Jim, we're more than 12 hours after the start of this fire. And as you've been showing us, especially since the sun has come up, uh, they're still battling some of the hot spots. Exactly, Eric, and that's not unheard of with a fire of this size. When you get a fire with a building this size, you're going to have lots of rubble, as you can see, just right over here. Bricks, wood, you name it. All of this from the building as it collapsed down onto the ground around here. This is where you're going to find plenty of little sparks underneath all of this because there's just so much to sift through. The water can't possibly get through all of those little cracks and crevices in a short amount of time. So that's why 12 hours later, crews are still out here dousing this whole area in water. Now, fire crews initially when they got here set up a defensive perimeter and were able to send people inside to try to look for anybody who might have been inside. Now, luckily there was nobody in those in that building and so they were able to pull out and it's a good thing that they did pull out when they did because about 20 minutes later that entire building came crumbling down. We've learned that the building was a warehouse for Wayside Christian Street. That ministry works to give temporary housing, food, shelter and support to the homeless population here in Louisville as well as connecting them with resources that can try to help them. Officials with the organization tell us that they bought the warehouse about eight years ago and they used it to store things like furniture and other materials. The roof collapsed or a wall collapsed, more flames would shoot up and it was, it was pretty, um, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Right now we need a lot of prayers and um, it'll take us a day or two to um, process all this. Well, wayside officials tell us that they are very grateful nobody was inside and nobody was hurt in relation to this fire. Now, as you mentioned, Eric, crews are going to be out here for a while longer. They've been out here for over 12 hours now, and we expect they will continue to be out here for most of the day as they continue to look for hot spots. But also, once they finally do clear this area, investigative teams will have to start coming in at that point and looking for a cause and a point of origin. That's information that we may not get for days, if not weeks from now. Eric?